Ever felt like your emotions hijack your decisions? If I could change one thing about my emotional game, it would be. Today, we're diving deep into one thing I'll change about my emotional game and how characters from Samurai Shampoo teaches us a thing or two about emotional control. Whether it's Mugen's fiery temper or Jen's calm composure, these characters show us how managing emotions leads to better decisions. And if I could change one thing about my emotional game, it would definitely be to learn to chill like Jen in the heat of the moment. Whoa, calm down, Jamal. Don't pull out the nine. <laughs> What's up, Zinyoku family? It is Michael Yerby here coming to you from Shreveport, Louisiana, your friendly neighborhood Air Force Master Sergeant turned personal development guru and anime fanatic. I've been through some tough emotional battles. Trust me, I've wrestled with more than a few, and sometimes it feels like my emotional game is a Mugen style fight, no rules. So hit the subscribe button, like and share, and let's keep growing together. Last week, we tackled five killer ways EQ transformed my relationships, pulling wisdom straight from Demon Slayer. If you missed it, don't worry, you can still learn how to slay emotions like Tanjiro slays demons. No Demon Slayer experience needed. Today, we're breaking it down into three key strategies for upgrading your emotional game. Strategy one. Understanding emotional triggers, strategy two, the power of emotional reset, and strategy three, the benefits of emotional flexibility. All right, let's kick things off with understanding emotional triggers because avoiding emotional outbursts is easier said than done, especially when your emotions are as wild as Mugen's sword skills. If you ever watch Mugen, you know the guy's fuse is about as short as his patience. Every little insult sets him off. And honestly, a lot of us are the same way. Recognizing your triggers, whether it's stress, criticism, or even just being hungry, is the first step in taking control of your emotions. Mugen gets mad, Jen stays calm. Different reactions, same situation. We all have a go-to emotional response. It's like a pattern you're stuck in. By noticing your reactions, you can decide if it's time to mix things up. Maybe channeling more Jin Zen and less Mugen's rage would do us all some good. Let's be real. Life throws a lot at you, just like the constant brawls in Samurai Shampoo. But if you know what triggers you, you can anticipate those moments and avoid unnecessary blow ups. It's kind of like dodging a sword strike. You see it coming, so you prepare. Except for those samurais who really can't avoid it and they get cooked. We discuss identify what triggers your emotional outbursts to get ahead of them, recognizing patterns in how you respond to those triggers and anticipating emotional challenges like your dodging Mugen's attacks. If you got a love affair with anime, sign up for my book waitlist, The Anime Mindset at michaelyerby.com backslash anime dash mindset dash waitlist. You'll discover how anime vibrant stories can transform your life by fostering emotional resilience and personal growth. Now back to the show. Let's talk about hitting that emotional reset button because sometimes you just gotta reset like a bad video game. You ever seen Jen step back, size up the situation, and then act? That's the emotional reset right there. Taking a step back gives you a second to breathe and react rationally without going full moving on people. Mindfulness isn't just some buzzword. It's like your internal pause button. When you're in the heat of the moment, Stopping to check in with yourself can save you from saying or doing something you regret. Think of it as Samurai Shampoo, but in slow motion. Everything gets clear. After a tough fight, even the strongest warriors need to cool down. For us, it might mean walking, some deep breathing, or binge watching an episode of Samurai Shampoo. Whatever helps you chill out before you re-engage with life. And I'm going to be honest and tell you, it's not easy. Um, as a flight chief, I have over 90 individuals in which I supervise and make sure that things go right for them every day 
for the whole week. And sometimes when I come home, I need to decompress. I need to take time for myself before I go back into the workforce and actually be expected to give myself. So make sure you take care of you. Having that reset time is super important, guys. Okay. We discuss step back before reacting to give yourself time to think. Mindfulness is your emotional pause button, so use it wisely and find a cool down routine to reset your emotional state. Join the Peak Society at michaelyerby.com backslash the Peak Society as one word and become part of a community of future leaders where we're all about personal growth through anime inspired strategies and conversations. Now back to the show. All right, now that we mastered the reset, let's talk about emotional flexibility because life isn't always gonna let you stay calm like Jen. Sometimes you gotta pivot like Mugen when life gets messy. One minute, Mugen is charging into battle. The next, he's dodging like a pro. Emotional flexibility is all about being able to adapt to the highs and lows. Life isn't always a straight line, so why should your emotions be? Nobody gets their emotional game right 100% of the time, not even Mugen or Jen. Embracing the fact that you're going to mess up sometimes is key. Just like in anime, your emotional story is full of growth, setbacks, and even epic comebacks. Balancing Mugen's impulsiveness nature with Jen's calmness is like balancing fire and water. You need both. Sometimes you have to fight back and sometimes you need to chill. Emotional flexibility is about knowing when to use each one. What did Bruce Lee say about water? Water, my friend, be like water. Roll the clip. I said, empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. All right, emotional flexibility. Check. Let's wrap up what we learned today before we let our emotions pull a Mugen and get out of control again. We discuss adapt to life's emotional highs and lows, just like Samurai Shampoo Fight. Embracing the fact that imperfections is part of the process, practice emotional balance, and sometimes Mugen and sometimes Jin. Transform your journey with free courses like Defy Gravity, Rising Above Challenges, and Understanding Your Why, all designed to elevate your personal growth. Check them out at michaelyerby.com backslash free. Now let's get back to the show. Today, we covered three major strategies for changing up your emotional game. Identify and manage emotional triggers, practice the power of the emotional reset and embracing emotional flexibility to adapt to life's ups and downs. Before I go, I got a challenge for you because what's a Samurai Shampoo inspired episode without a little test of your emotional skills? This week, think about one moment where your emotions got the better of you. How could you have done it differently? Let's make sure next time you're channeling your inner gin instead of letting your emotions go full Mugen. And what's one moment from Samurai Shampoo that made you rethink how you handle emotions? Drop your favorite scene in the comments and I'll be replying to my favorites, which is all of them because I love your comments, guys. I love talking. Sometimes. Explore high quality merch at michaelyerby.com backslash the storefront as one word. Your journey for emotional mastery deserves some gear. Every click supports the channel and hey, who doesn't want to look cool while leveling up in their emotional game? So hey, go to michaelyerby.com backslash the storefront as one word and get you some merch. All right. Thanks for tuning in, Zinyoku family. Until next time, keep understanding your emotional triggers, embracing your reset, and pay it forward with emotional flexibility. Peace.